Hey guys, it's Megan again. So, I'm, um, <clears throat> tonight I was playing on the computer and I had a movie going on on my TV from HBO and it was called, I think, Five Floors Up or Five Stories Up or Nine Flights Up or Five Flights. It had Diane Keaton and Morgan Freeman in it and, um, the movie basically took place in the course of, like, I want to say, like, two days. And they were living in New York, and they, I think, yeah, New York, and they were putting their apartment on the market, and they were going through their whole life from when they got married, and, you know, Morgan Freeman is African American, Diane Keaton is Caucasian, and back in the time when they got married, there was a lot of, uh, still prejudice <coughs> when it came to that, and, um, they were struggling with moving or not moving and they were putting their condo on the market well during the entire course of the movie there was this guy who had the bridge um, <coughs> cornered off or whatever because he abandoned a truck and it was, there was some kind of house they thought it was a hostage situation which was causing the prices of the apartments the the real estate to go down because nobody wanted to live in a crime filled area yada 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 they wound up catching the guy at one point he wasn't harming anybody that was um how do I want to put this the right way that was involved in buying a house or a condo or whatever so um it was nice watching the memories of this couple and you know the 40 years they were together and they had a dog and the dog was sick and he had some spinal issue and needed to have an MRI or CAT scan and then have surgery and it was really expensive. While well, they were putting their their condo on the or their apartment, their New York City apartment on the on the market, one thing was the stairs were getting too hard to go up and down and there wasn't an elevator and they were however many flights up. Well, during the course of the day, they have a uh, open house and people are looking at it and you know going through their stuff and whatnot and pe a couple people made offers and you know it people are following this news story well then they decide that they want to look at a place or a couple of apartments and they find one that they like and all this problem and the husband and wife who they were going to buy the apartment from were the husband didn't really want to sell or he wanted it to go a little higher the wife was pregnant looked like she was about to pop um, needless to say, the gist of the movie, they figured out that, you know, the grass isn't always greener on the other side, and let's stay where we're at, because really, why are we trying to get rid of this place where we got it so we could grow old together, you know, why don't we grow old together there, so, um, by the end of the movie, they wound up staying at I guess where they were living before, but they everybody seemed so much happier with it. So I guess they realized what they had um, when they were about to lose it. So I don't know. Morgan Freeman's going to be one of those timeless actors. You're going to see him for years, and you know, you've heard his voice on so many things that when he does pass away, it's going to be like, you know, whoa, we lost another great one. So. Um, if you like Diane Keaton and Morgan Freeman, check out the movie. I kind of told you what it was mostly about. If I were to rate it on 1 to 10 from what I like and what I don't like, uh, let's say 10's the best and 1's the worst, I'd give it about a 4. Nah, maybe about a 5. There was some cool scenes and there was some interesting conversation and stuff but when it was all said and done it um it almost put me to sleep so it's good if you like movies that are like that but if you're looking for something that's a little upbeat I would suggest something with a little bit of comedy or action and um I would not suggest this one. So, <clears throat> that's my opinion, that's my review, and um, I hope you enjoy. Alright, thank you guys.